a lot of the impact that we're seeing from an automation perspective is uh, either from a standpoint of uh, increasing efficiency or productivity, as well as looking at means of uh, cutting down on the existing cost structure. And uh, it is frankly starting to become a mainstay in many of these uh, organizations, uh, particularly those who are grappling with the existing cost structures that they have, looking at ways of improving their productivity. The context of applying cognitive and machine learning is certainly different than the context of applying uh, automation. Whereas uh, machine learning is primarily being uh, looked at as a way of how could I essentially get better at understanding the underlying data, specifically data that is now being collected through a variety of sources and data that has typically been dark in nature. Meaning it's data that has either been ignored, not been looked into, uh, not necessarily been considered valuable. But now by having uh, sophisticated algorithms and consequently employing a machine learning, an organization get, get a much better comprehension around their particular data, determine uh, patterns, determine uh, uh, correlations, develop the ability to uh, predict what the uh, various scenarios could be, as well as the probability that a particular scenario may play out. The biggest challenge is uh, skepticism. Uh, skepticism around uh, whether these technologies and whether such a disruption is actually going to work. Once you sort of get through the uh, initial uh, skepticism per se, the next challenge becomes how and where do we get started? Once um, a lot of uh, effort has been expended in terms of where to experiment, what to experiment, where to even kind of pilot such kind of uh, disruption per se, the next challenge is around uh, adoption, which is how do we essentially automate, let's say business processes, whether it's in shared services, whether it's in finance on a large scale. What impact does it actually have on our workforce and how do we essentially deal with that change? I believe that one of the biggest roles of a CIO is to be the change agent. To be the change agent helping the organization overcome the challenges with respect to skepticism. The other role of a CIO may be to actually starting the pivot from uh, essentially implementing and maintaining systems to thinking about how can I be a key leader in terms of generating insights. Generating insights that are meaningful for the stakeholders, for the business and the customers. CIOs probably have the broadest view in terms of what data does an organization have? Where does that data come? Is it valuable? Having a perspective in terms of aggregating and managing and mining that data, bringing data sciences capabilities to bear, bringing basically behavioral sciences capabilities to bear, and consequently, essentially discovering, I would say, all kinds of insights based on that data and providing those insights in a meaningful fashion. In fact, uh, I would uh, not be too far off in saying that uh, the role of, or the acronym of a CIO could very well change from a chief information officer to perhaps a chief insight officer. <laughs>